Henry from OBD again. Today we're back with our Pro Tools video tutorials. And we're going to keep working on colors in Pro Tools, right? So in the previous tutorial, we talked about the color schemes or the color themes. And now we're going to go even deeper into track coloring, uh, how to do it and why. So let's start with why. Um, when you have a session like the one that I have right here, that you have plenty of tracks, um, it's kind of hard to know what is what by just looking at it. I mean, yeah, you can always zoom in and you might know that, okay, this look like drums or some kind of percussive element because you can see a transient. But when you get to this area, how do you know if these are basses or guitars or vocals? You know, they all look kind of like the same, right? Um, so... Once again, you could go to the left, go to the track and read, okay, this is bass, this is the bass duplicate, here's guitar one left, right, and then guitar, you know, three left and right, and here's some lead vocals left and right, and so on and so forth, maybe some BGVs, but you have to read, and having to go here on the left and needing to actually go and read, that takes time, and when you're mixing a song that has 100 plus, 200 plus tracks, you don't have time for that. You need to find a visual cue. There has to be something that tells you what you're working with by only looking at it. So that's when you do color coding. So how do you do that? Well, you go to Pro Tools Preferences and you go on the very first tab on the left, Display tab, and here is color coding on the right. So you have the full track color coding and the full clip color coding. So you want your default clip color coding to match your track color. So you select track color. And then default track color coding, you just select none. That means that you're going to have to select the color for the track. And once you select it, the click automatically will receive the same color. So press OK. And then here we go. So how do you change the color of a track? You simply click on it. You'll see, kick in. And then on the left, there's this little black area. You can double click on it and the color uh, palette is going to open. So I want to make my drums blue, right? So I can simply click on the blue and then check what happened. The track changed to dark blue as well as the clip. Now I want all my drums to be blue. So I'm going to click on the first drum track, which is a kick in. And while holding shift, I'll go to the very last drum track, which is the drum room. Now they're all selected. And I'm going to click on that blue again. So boom, all my drums are blue. Now I want all my basses to be purple. So I have a bass track, a bass duplicate, and bass drive bus. I'm going to go ahead and, you know, click on the first one, hold shift, click on the last one. So all three are selected. Then you can double click on any of these black areas and select purple. So now my basses are purple. Guitars, uh, plenty of guitars. The end around here, select all of them. Let's make them green. And then my vocals, um, my lead vocals, I'm going to make kind of like that, like light blue. And then my BGVs, a little darker. So now you know, by just hovering the mouse, just, just crawling through the session, you know, okay, blue, those are my drums. Then purple, that's my bass. Green, those are my guitars. Light blue is my lead vocal. And then a little darker version of that light blue. Those are my BGVs. Now, if you have um, master buses, like the ones that I have down here, drum master, bass master, you might want to select the color for those the same as the individual tracks. So um, let me open that a little bit more. Okay. So mas drum master, I'm going to make dark blue. Bass master, I'm going to make purple. Same purple as the bass. My guitars, they're all going to be the same green. My lead vocal, the blue, and then my BGV, the same uh, darker blue. And then you have your two mix bullets and your master. So now, once again, you don't need you don't really need to read on the left. You only need to scroll, and you'll know. Okay, these are drums. Okay, this is bass. These are guitars, lead vocals, and BGVs. Now, that's on the edit window. If you switch to the mix window. Same thing happens. You're going to see blue down here, um, then purple for the bass, green for the guitars, 
you know, vocals, and then you'll see your masters here. Now, this is a little tricky because you can only see the colors down here, the bottom. You can also change the actual color of the channel strip to match the color. So it's going to be even more obvious. Now, how do you do that? Very simple. Double click on any of the colors. The color palette is going to open again. And then here you have UI customization. You can open that option. And if you go to where it says tracks, you got all these UI theme customizations like text brightness, background brightness, clips, grids, marker lines, all kinds of things that you can change the color. Now, let's just focus on tracks. Um, so here is an option. So you got your track header brightness, folder track header brightness, edit selection, timeline brightness, all kinds of things that you can play with. But there's this one here, very specific track header saturation. You click and drag on that. Check what happens to your channel strips. Now they have switch to match the exact same color of the tracks. So now if you close that, now it's even more obvious because you know like the channel strip has the same color of the clip and the same color of the track. So it's it all matches, you know? You could even go narrow like that and you know, okay, these are vocals, these are VGBs, you know, these are guitars, these are basses, these are drums. It's way easier. So as a visual cue, you can easily scroll through your mix window or your edit window and know exactly what's happening. So that's track coloring in Pro Tools. I hope this tutorial was helpful, guys. If you have any other questions, please call us from Obedient PC Audio Labs and we'll be happy to help you. We will see you soon. Bye-bye. Want to learn how to produce music using this or using that or using all of these? Have you been watching videos, reading manuals, blogs, and trying to figure out everything that it takes to be a music producer? Do you have a bunch of music gear that you purchased and you still haven't made any music? Well, then you need Obedia, the world's only one-on-one -on -one digital audio training and tech support service. Check out the link below for a special new subscriber offer.